Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'll do an in-depth comparison between the latest Samsung Galaxy Watch 3 and the Galaxy Watch Active 2 to make it easier for you to select either or. So let's get started. If it's your first time on my channel, please consider subscribing as I do regular videos for various smartwatches like this one, smartphone reviews, tech tutorials and much more. In fact, I have an entire playlist full of Samsung smartwatch videos where you'll find more detailed videos, reviews and free giveaways. So be sure to check it out. Samsung recently launched their Galaxy Watch 3 which in my opinion is a true successor to the original Galaxy Watch 46mm. However, it's strikingly similar to the Galaxy Watch Active 2 that was announced last year. So in today's video, I'll be diving in depth to the subtlest difference between both of these devices so you can decide which one to select and if you have one already, you will know what you're missing out. I have linked all their accessories and deals on these smartwatches in the description of this video in case if you guys are looking for it. Here is a quick update before I start. In just few days I'll be doing a free giveaway of this awesome looking watch face that looks great on both these devices so make sure to subscribe as I don't want you to miss out on it. Now the first evident difference you will see is the packaging where the Galaxy Watch 3 came in a rectangular flat Apple watch like box which did feel premium to me versus the Galaxy Watch Active 2 came in a box like this one which is a minimalistic style box packaging. The content of both the boxes are about the same. Galaxy Watch Active 2 is a successor of the Galaxy Watch Active 1. I have done an in-depth comparison between Galaxy Watch Active 2 and the Active 1 which is linked up here in case you guys want to check it out once you're done watching this one. Packaging aside, let's talk about various model options available across both these devices and their price. The Galaxy Watch 3 comes in two different sizes. The one I have with me is the Galaxy Watch 3 45mm Mystic Silver. There is a Mystic Black. Unfortunately, the Mystic Bronze is only available on the 41mm version. The 41mm version comes in Mystic Bronze and Mystic Silver. The 45mm version will cost you 600 Canadian dollar and the 41mm variant will cost you 550 Canadian dollar. They both are just about the same. You're paying 50 extra bucks for a slightly different design, certainly bigger size and more screen real estate. On the other hand, the Galaxy Watch Active 2 comes in a multitude of options. Now there is the Golf Edition and the Under Armour Edition. Nonetheless, in terms of size, there are two options, the 44mm which is what I have and the 40mm. The 44mm will cost about 400 Canadian dollar and the 40mm will cost 370 Canadian dollar. If I were to recommend, I will personally recommend the 44mm version unless you have really tiny wrist. In terms of color options, the one I have is the aqua black. There is a stainless gold, gold and cloud silver. Galaxy Watch Active 2 has an LTE version available on major Canadian network carrier and it costs 440 Canadian dollar. So just for 40 extra bucks, you'll get the LTE version which has slightly bigger battery size, 1.5 gig of RAM and LTE obviously. So that is a good deal in my opinion. The LTE version for the Galaxy Watch 3 is not yet announced in Canada. So to me there are more styling options to choose from on Galaxy Watch Active 2 versus the Galaxy Watch 3. Anyways the other obvious difference is the physical appearance. The Galaxy Watch 3 looks bold and pronounced however to me it doesn't have that active lifestyle sleek looks. By default it comes with a genuine leather band which is super lightweight but hey it's leather you can't take it for a swim or exercise. So I usually end up using the band from my other smartwatches like the Huawei Watch GT2, Fossil Gen 5 or TicWatch Pro 2020. So it's really a bummer. I wish they could have done something like the Fossil Gen 5 which has the leather on top and silicon in the bottom. So I don't have to take it off at least during the exercises. The Galaxy Watch Active 2 on the other hand looks sleek and geared toward an active lifestyle. It even comes with a silicon band which is quite soft and comfortable and you can swim or do exercise with it without even replacing it. Now both these watches have a ton of styling and customization option. I have linked some cool stylish accessory option for both these watches in the description of this video. Make sure to check it out. Some people debate that the Galaxy Watch 3 is more masculine and the Active 2 is more feminine. Here is what I'll say. 
there are a lot of styling options with which you can design the watch to be more gender specific. Like I have done a video to completely revive the Active 2 with the bezel styling and the stainless steel band like this for which you can check this video out once you are done watching this one. Now speaking of internals, both Galaxy Watch Active 2 44mm and the Galaxy Watch 3 45mm based on my research are pretty similar. You can pause this video and read through the similarities of both these watches listed on the side. So that being said, let's talk about the differences. Besides the same display quality and the processor under the hood, the Galaxy Watch 3 now has 8 gigs of RAM which is double than what you can get on Active 2 so you can store more onboard music and images. I have done a video on how to transfer music on both these watches directly from your laptop linked up here you can check it out once you're done watching this one. It's good that Samsung included more onboard storage finally. For some people it's not a deal breaker but for someone like me who needs a lot of music for offline playback this is very helpful feature. Now the Galaxy Watch 3 based on my research is powered by 1 gig of RAM. However, the RAM of the Galaxy Watch Active 2 is a bit questionable. Some websites say that it has 1.5 gig of RAM, which is not 100% true. As on Samsung's website, I found that the non-LTE Active 2 version only has 0.75 gig of RAM. That is only 750 megabytes. However, the Active 2 LTE version has 1.5 gigs of RAM, which is more than the Galaxy Watch 3. But does that make any difference? Absolutely not. From my use, I find both these watches to be equally snappy. Now both these watches have same ECG and heart rate sensor, but Samsung has not yet announced these features in Canada. Yes, there are alternate ways to get it, but I will not do that to my watch. Both these watch are 5 ATM water resistant, so yes, you can take them for a swim. On top of that, the Galaxy Watch 3 has a military 810G rating. Moreover, as you can see, the display is sunken under the physical rotating bezel, so it's not that easy to scratch the screen. On the other hand, the Active 2 has a display directly popping out, making it more vulnerable to scratches and scuff. So you can get this full body case for which I have done a video linked up here. You can check it out once you're done watching this one. Both these watch run on Samsung's proprietary Tizen OS. So you can get a ton of watch face apps and games. By the way, I have done a ton of apps, games and watch face review for these watches linked in the playlist which you can find at the end of this video. Make sure to check it out. However, to me personally, I like the physical rotating bezel of the Galaxy Watch 3 as it's highly tactile and gives that awesome click every time you move the bezel. And frankly, sometimes I just fidget around with the bezel. Believe me, it's that addictive to use. On the other hand, the Galaxy Watch Active 2 has a digital rotating bezel, which is better than not having anything, but it's not just as satisfactory as it's on the Galaxy Watch 3. You still get haptic vibration every time you move your finger around it and it does work even with the full body case on it. But I find sometimes it just doesn't work perfectly if your finger is on the very edge of the screen. I get why Galaxy Watch 3 is slightly expensive as the digital rotating bezel is just a software versus the physical bezel has to be meticulously integrated along with the waterproof rating. They both are same in terms of battery size and sensors like accelerometer, gyroscope, barometer, GPS, Bluetooth 5.0, Wi-Fi 802.11, NFC for Samsung Pay. But the evident difference is the dimension. The Galaxy Watch Active 2 is only 10.9 mm thick and only 44 grams in weight versus the Galaxy Watch 3 is 11.1 millimeter in thickness. I get it because of the physical rotating bezel and 53.8 grams in weight. From my testing, both these watches go about a day and a half of heavy usage and about three to four days of moderate to light usage. They both are wireless charge capable, so you can charge it from the back of your Samsung smartphone and has fast charge capabilities. Now my wrist circumference is 15 cm and you can see how they look on my wrist. This will give you an idea of which one to go for in terms of looks and size. 
So to me, both these watches are strikingly similar, except the physical appearance. Just using them on a regular basis like apps and fitness, you will not feel any difference at all except that the physical rotating bezel is more robust versus the digital rotating bezel. So here is the final question. Is the Galaxy Watch 3 45mm worth the extra 200 Canadian dollar from the Galaxy Watch Active 2? To me personally, the 200 Canadian dollar is primarily for the physical rotating bezel, design, looks and the extra 4 gig of internal storage. Other than that, it's just the Active 2. Will I recommend to upgrade to Watch 3 from an Active 2? Maybe not unless if you are someone who really wants to try the physical rotating bezel. So does the Watch 3 justifies the price over the Active 2? Again, maybe not if you don't care about looks, physical rotating bezel and the 4 gigs of additional onboard storage. You can probably go for the Active 2 LTE version which will still cost you only 440 Canadian dollar. So really the choice is yours but I hope at least this video gives you a deep insight to expectations for the price you pay. So I really hope you found this video helpful. If you did, then please give this video a thumbs up. It really means a lot. Also follow me on my other social media networks for early preview to upcoming videos and free giveaways. Links are in the description to all my videos. Thanks so much for watching and take care. I'll catch you guys in the next one.